Hi, I'm Danny, and here are my tips for choosing a Twitter username. Now, there are several hundred million users of Twitter, so the chances are that some of them are going to have the same name as you. So you probably aren't going to be able to just use your normal name. So you may need to be creative and stick some numbers or some letters in there just to, um, to make it unique. I would suggest you keep it as simple as you can, so don't put lots of, of numbers in, lots of underscores and hyphens and so on. Um, remember, people are going to have to try and remember you and use that when they reply to you. Along the same lines, um, try not to have a username that is too long. If it's too long, um, obviously, one, people have to try and type that in to speak to you and reply to you. Two, your username will take up their 140 characters when they reply to you. So if you have a very long username, um, they're going to run out of space to reply to you. So here are a couple of examples. Um, my username is Danny Nick. Short, snappy has me in there, people recognise it as me. Um, these are some good examples of some usernames. Okay. A name, a number, you may have to shorten your surname or shorten your first name or drop your first name if you have to. You could put some underscores in there. Here are some examples of some bad usernames. Okay. Far too long, far too complicated. Try and have something that at least has your name in it so people can recognise you, but if you want to use a nickname or something like that, that'll be fine. But remember that your name has to be typed in by other people, so if it's far too complicated, they're not going to bother to talk to you.